Takeaway number seven, let's play a little game, all right? Let's play a little game, panic or patience? And we're gonna play for Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, and we are going to play uh, with Auburn as well. Panic or patience? And this time it's going to be quarterback driven. All right. Oklahoma, we'll start there. We already talked a little bit about Oklahoma earlier in the show. Jackson Arnold, five star, was anointed the starting quarterback at the end of last year. Dylan Gabriel transfers out, assuming that Arnold was going to be the guy. They said, all right, go ahead, Dylan. You're good. We got this guy. He's going to be amazing. Well, so far, he's five starts into his career. And it's not so much that he isn't making plays because there are some times where he's done some nice things with his legs in particular. There have been some nice throws at times, but you can't win turning the ball over. Turn it over three times against Arizona. Turn it over three times, yes, uh, Saturday against Tennessee. I mean, to have three first half turnovers, interception, couple of fumbles lost. You can't climb out of that hole. It doesn't matter how good your defense is. You cannot make mistakes like that. The other thing is, is they're not really hitting a lot of throws downfield. And this is an offense that really needs the big play downfield to reach its ceiling. And Jackson Arnold right now, two for 17 on throws that travel 15 or more yards downfield. That's just not going to get it done. When you're completing 12% of throws that travel 15 yards or more downfield, that's just not going to get it done. So you got Michael Hawkins, and you got to respect how he played. Coming off the bench, difficult situation, most meaningful playing time he's ever received, just his second career appearance against a team that is a national championship contender, one of the best defensive lines in the sport, one of the best defenses in the sport, and he actually found a little rhythm. There were some flashes in that performance there in the fourth quarter. Plus, you know how many teammates he won over by those two near touchdown runs? They were both called scores, of course, and were reviewed and, and taken off. But the second one where he's airborne and flipping and somersaulting into the end zone, body on the line, that's how you gain the respect of your teammates. So the big question, time to panic or patience with Oklahoma and their quarterback situation? I think it's time to panic because what I've seen from Jackson Arnold, he's not playing winning football right now. He's just not. Uh, maybe the weight of the world is just too heavy on his shoulders right now. Maybe he's trying to do too much. And I think he presses for sure. Presses for sure. And it appears from a distance like he kind of gets down on himself in the event in which he faces adversity. Can't have that. You got to go with Michael Hawkins based on what I saw this most recent week. Now, Michael Hawkins, you might have a short leash on him at some point. But right now, it's panic time at the quarterback spot at Oklahoma, and he's not alone. They've got a lot of issues on offense, especially on the offensive line. Let's go to Oklahoma State. This was a panic move, by the way, in my opinion. Like Watching this game, now, did Alan Bowman have his best stuff? No. No. I, I didn't think he was playing very well, but you're down seven, and you're going to bench the guy that has played seven years of college football. And Gundy said after the game, quote, sometimes we don't do it a lot here, but sometimes you got to get a guy out of there and calm him down a little bit. So I don't know what was going on necessarily, the interaction, and I don't know their reads and their processes. I didn't think like Bowman's start warranted a benching. You put in Rangel. Rangel, who has played a little bit, didn't play very well. He finishes 3 of 11 for 31 yards in four drives. Put Bowman back in the game. That leads to back-to-back -back touchdown drives. He did throw an interception, but he finished the game 16 to 33 for 206, a couple touchdowns and two picks. You got to have patience. Like Bowman's your guy. Okay. Bowman's your guy. And I think he responded to the benching pretty well, but it did feel like a quick hook for a guy that is really the sole reason why you were three and oh heading into that game in the first place. And then finally to Auburn. Panic or patience? This one's panic, but it should have been patience. Now, Hugh Freeze has benched multiple quarterbacks in the last four games. Here's the issue. 
If you watch the game played by Peyton Thorne a couple weeks ago against Cal, yes, you look at the box score. You look at the box score, you see four interceptions, you say, that's just not good football. Then you watch the game itself and you watch the plays. And you look at the first interception where a receiver didn't run through his route on the slant. It hits off his hands. It's intercepted. The second interception was rolling, trying to make a play, moving in the pocket because your offensive line hadn't blocked a soul all day. You're trying to make a play. Your arm gets hit up in the air, gets intercepted. The third interception, you try to throw a back shoulder down the left sideline and the corner plays it perfectly, but the receiver just kept running, didn't really stop or try to make a play on the ball. Then the fourth interception, you're backed up trying to make a play with 30 seconds left down a touchdown. Well, Auburn panics. They put in Hank Brown, who at this point, yeah, he lit up New Mexico, who at the time was the worst defense in the sport. And it was not good when he started to see real capable defenders on the other side. Through the interception, all right, and then things really spiraled for him. He went four of 10 the rest of the way, two more picks. One of the interceptions was right at Jaden Johnson, the safety, and he just stared it down the whole way. Stared it down the whole way. And then there was, I mean, other, you got Robert Lewis wide open underneath, air mails, another one. Like Hank Brown was never going to be the answer, I don't think, with this Auburn team. The offensive line's just not good. The offensive line's not playing good football. So you got to have a guy with some mobility. And Peyton Thorne is that guy. Now, the fan base was frustrated by him, sure. But he, I think Hugh Freeze should have stuck with him from the jump. Instead, he puts in the freshman, which is great against subpar competition. And boy, did he come back to earth in a big way. Siri just chimed in there. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm not sure how, but Siri just chimed in. Uh, should have probably had my phone on. I guess do not disturb. Siri weighs in. They think Hugh Freeze panicked and put the freshman in. I think that's what she said. I don't know. Anyways, this situation could have been avoided, but it wasn't. And I think it was a, it was a panic move to put Hank Brown in to begin with. And now it's super panic move to put him back in there. Now you got two quarterbacks with fractured confidence. So we'll see what happens with Auburn. But my goodness, they got Oklahoma coming to town. And the get-right recipe for their quarterbacks to play against that defense, good luck. That's going to be a tough situation.